Today I'm going to share with you how to avoid the flu. Now right now in Canada it's getting pretty cold, it's September, flu season's going to start in a few weeks and uh, as a clinician you know I try to do everything I can to keep my patients from getting sick. So uh, obviously taking care of yourself, getting enough rest, drinking enough water, eating lots of healthy food, uh, bone broth is an amazing thing for your immune system especially if you're putting things like oregano, basil, thyme, stuff like that in there because um, that's just going to keep your immune system running along feeling happy. But if you're a person who feels that your immune system may be compromised uh, because there, you seem to catch everything that's going around, I'm going to share with you what's called the DC oil protocol, which is used actually with doctors, uh, with doctors of the borders, a few other things where people travel around where they may be uh, at risk of getting some kind of virus. And the flu is a virus. So, so what you want to do is to go to the natural health store uh, and get vitamin D3, preferably liquid uh, or capsules, vitamin C, and some healthy fish oil. Now, uh, krill oil, um, things that mix herring and uh, other uh, fish that are fairly high up in the water. Uh, cod liver oil is good. Um, you could even use hemp oil, flax oil, things like that, because we're looking for the highly unsaturated, uh, preferably essential fatty acids. So, and you want to take all of these uh, 1,000 units, 1,000 milligrams, 1,000 milliliters, three times a day. Now that may seem like, like a lot of trouble. Why not take them all at once? Well, what you're trying to do is create an immune system regulatory uh, influence by using all of these together. Now vitamin D, uh, specifically D3, actually works in your body like a hormone. And hormones you know, have to be moving through your body consistently throughout the day to have the kind of effect that a hormone has. If you took all of this, just say you just took it in the morning, you'd have that benefit for about three hours, and then the message of what vitamin D has as a hormone is going to go away. Um, if you're living in a place where you're not getting a lot of sun, I would encourage you to consider taking about 2,000 units three times a day. Now, there's other things you can take that are uh, fairly good, you know, in the sense of echinacea and other things that may tonify or boost your immune system, but the tricky thing with those is um, there are certain immune system pathways that if you uh, boost them or strengthen them, they may actually propagate a certain kind of illness. Now, I'll get into that in another video. It's a little bit complicated, but you have to be aware that your immune system is kind of like uh, your police force. And if you get them uh, going with too much energy, maybe they're going to actually cause some damage to your village or your body. So the exact mechanism that happens with these, especially with this combination, is these together uh, increase the production of, water, of what are called antiviral peptides. Now these are little protein messengers that help your body become more antagonistic towards the way viruses actually enter the body, enter your cells, and kind of hide in, in, in your body and your genetics. So by increasing the antiviral peptides, you're giving yourself kind of a really clear sort of self-defense thing that will attack them before they actually can sneak in. Because that's what viruses like to do. They like to sneak in there and pretend they're a part of you and then you actually end up sick. So that's the DC oil protocol. Great way to avoid the flu, especially if flu season's coming up, and especially if you're susceptible to catching the flu. And again, there's lots of other options out there. You know, nothing like bone broth chicken soup with lots of oregano on time. So I hope that helps you. Please like and share. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be putting out lots of videos over the next year. Uh, and uh, yeah, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And if you actually need any uh, help or um, uh, you have concerns, especially with autoimmune disease, that's sort of my thing in my practice, contact me through my website. I work with people all over the world. So have a great day. Stay healthy.